Good morning, Libra. How are you? Let's see what we have for you today. This is, as always, Sun, Moon, Rising reading. It's a general reading. Please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. You know, the energies ebb to and fro. Cross watchers are welcome. Here we go. We're ready for this. Four of Wands. Wow. I've just done Aquarius. That Four of Wands came out in exactly the same position. It was the first card out. So if you are dealing with Aquarius, look at their video. Yeah. You've been struggling to come to terms with the past for a long, long time. And there's somebody still around you. I'm getting that you've been taking a break. Perhaps a lot of you have been taking a holiday. But with this four of wands, you know, it's it's you settling down, becoming stable. But there's still something there about your past that, you know, you haven't quite let go of. Somebody has hurt you. And on the work front, you know, you felt like you've had to fight for everything. One of those situations where you feel like your face never quite fitted. There has been a lot of tension of late. Anywhere from nine months to a year. But you are finally coming to terms with this. You're waiting for a fresh start. You're waiting for an opportunity. You're waiting for an opportunity to travel. Again, so for some of you, this is permanent. It's relocation, either in work, you know, going to another company, or, you know, for those of you that are in partnerships, expansion. Not all the... All of your plans rely on everything you do, but they rely on others as well. And there seems to be some kind of delay here. There's some a lot of blockages, a lot of obstacles in your path here, especially with a certain person. You could have even blocked them, you know, if there was too much tension. I'm getting more, though. This is tenacity. You're determined to face the challenges. You've had a rest. Now you're ready for the big fight. And one last push. And I don't need literally one big fight, you know, with fisticuffs. But, you know, struggling with life's vicissitudes. Facing the challenges. That's what I mean. Emotionally and spiritually. Mm, there was a connection in the past. Perhaps travel. I'm picking up distance here. In work, you've been thinking about a change of career. You're perhaps in a dead-end job, what you consider a dead-end job, and you you know there's more out there, better. And you've been toying with the, some ideas, and now it's actually making the decision to act on it. Mm -hmm. but that seems to be a challenge for you. For those of you in a one-to-one -one relationship, there's an Aries-type person here. You've got three of ones, two of ones, four of ones. So there's a lot of growth here. And I'm getting movement from thinking about it to preparation, to being ready, and now getting ready to act on it. But because there's some delays here, you know, you're perhaps waiting on this other person to make a decision. You're ready to go. You're waiting for the other person to play catch up. Mm. For one or two of you, I'm picking up a father type figure here. Perhaps it's a parent, very controlling. But there's someone around you who is quite, you know, they like everything their way. Emperor, yeah. It's a little touch of narcissis narcissism for one or two of you. A lot of you want to leave this situation without conflict. You know, there's one or two of you even willing to do slip away quietly. 
there's been some arguments in the past. Friction. You could even have a boss who is very rigid. You know, you ask for time off and they say no. <laughs> Basically, very controlling like that. You know, you have to have a very good excuse to take a day off work. But on the love front, this person is, you know... Yeah. They... They like everything their way. Now, perhaps, as a, there is a marriage here I'm picking up. Somebody wants to take the connection, this Aries type energy, fire energy, where they wouldn't settle. There's relocation here and even getting married. That's just for one or two of you. They want to take the, they want to raise the stakes on the connection. They want to take it to the next level. Mm, you are expecting some opposition though. There's somebody who is not going to agree. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself and on the situation. There's some real determination and focus here. A lot of these changes you... I've been working on yourself, but there is some reliance on outside sources. As I say that, you've got the Destiny card, the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you have been waiting for this change for a very long time. Excuse me. <coughs> oh dear, a bit of dust got up me now. Sorry about that. Yeah, there's, a, there's some fast changes coming in. And a lot of you are having to think fast. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Dear, dust. Two of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a marriage and a long-term union here. They've been waiting and delayed because they've been trying to sort their past out. Yeah, yeah, there you go, hangman. There's been a lot of delays, and there could even be a few more. Patience is the key here. But the trick is, keep doing what you've been doing, because the struggle's nearly over. You're at the nine now, and you're going to get closure on the past. You're going to get some new opportunities, and things are going to turn in your favour. In fact, there's a brand new cycle starting for you. And I'm picking up for some of you anywhere up to 10 years. You know, we're all at different levels on our karmic line. It's not like linear time, you know, it all moves at basically the same pace for us all. But karmic line, we move at different speeds. But the person you're dealing with wants to, wants a change in life. But I feel here there's a third party for some of you and there is some opposition not everybody will agree what you're doing i'm just going to get one more card on this seven of swords yeah waiting on a decision um, but there is delays because of you know working on manifesting this union and it's that sorting out all legal issues and if anybody's got a mortgage to sort out before they can move, they've got a job where they have to work out a contract before they can move. I am picking up a lot of relocation here. It's a big move and a big move towards the future. But it does mean letting go of the past. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.